Hi, I'm Nicole. Welcome back to Affordable Practical Living. Today we're going to do an easy weeknight chicken pasta dish. This dish has actually been out on the internet for a couple of months now, but I actually did this video a couple of months ago and forgot to put it out. So there you have it. I'm using pre-cut up frozen chicken breasts in this. And I just added them frozen straight to the skillet that's on medium heat with some oil in it. I'm going to add some basil and I'm not measuring this at all. I just kind of wing it, you know, I'm just sprinkling it on there. And I'm going to add some minced garlic as well. You can add garlic powder or you can even do fresh garlic. I don't do fresh garlic in my life because I work two jobs. So the minced garlic is perfect for me and I'm just going to mix all this together on the medium heat. And then we are going to go and cut up some onion. But before I do that, I'm actually, I pause myself. I go and I put some water on to boil for the pasta, for the penne. Now I'm using a red onion here. Maybe you call it a purple onion. I don't know, but I call it a red onion. And we are going to cut this into chunks. Now, if you don't have a red onion, you can use the yellow or white onions on this. But I would um, definitely try to get the red onion as much as you can because it is a sweet onion and it gives it the a really good flavor. If you are using a different kind of onion, cut it into smaller pieces because it's going to be a lot more potent and it is going to give this a different flavor. So I'm just making these into large chunks and throwing it into a large casserole dish. And you'll see that this casserole dish is still not large enough. For this. I'm just showing you that so that you'll know that I'm preparing my pasta as I'm doing this because we're trying to get this out as soon as possible. So we're cooking things at once. The chicken's going, the water for the pasta's going, and this is going to be our sauce. I'm adding more garlic to the onion. And then this is my homegrown canned cherry tomatoes that I grew last summer and canned. And I have a video on that if you want to go watch me do that. And this is fantastic. Um, but if you don't have homegrown canned cherry tomatoes, you can use fresh cherry tomatoes or plum tomatoes. Cut them in half and that will work fantastic for this. And then if you don't have even that, you can also use canned tomatoes either stewed or diced. You can even use the stewed tomatoes that are, um, I think it has Italian seasoning in it. You can use those. Give that a good mix. And then, of course, if you have any other type of fresh tomato, you can cut that into chunks and add it. It will give it a different flavor than the cherries just because cherries um, have a different flavor. Now, I'm adding olive oil. I'm just going to drizzle it on top here. Give it a nice drizzle in there. Don't be shy with the olive oil. This is your base for the pasta. I'm going to go in with some pepper. If you want to add salt, you can add salt. We don't really do salt in this household if we can get away with it. I'm going to do some more basil in here. If you want to add any other type of seasoning, like Italian seasoning or Herbes de Provence or anything else, you can add it at this time. You can even add olives in at this time. I um, did not have olives. Now, this is feta cheese I'm putting in here. Your oven should have been preset to 375. And I'm going to just add that in there for a good 20 minutes. Now, once that comes out, your chicken and your pasta should be done at this point. And I did cut up my chicken into smaller pieces. So I'm going to just go ahead and add that in because it's all nice and cooked and ready to go. And I'm going to stir that in there. And then I washed and cut the stems off of a bag of spinach. And you're going to just mix that in there. This will wilt down because it's nice and warm. And then the pasta is also nice and warm and that will help it uh, wilt down and mix it in there as well. And of course, I make a huge mess with the pasta and that's fine. This is a clean surface. I just go in there and pick it up and put it back in there. This is a large casserole dish, but this is also a large recipe. If you don't want to use a full box of pasta, you don't have to. You could use a half or however much 
you prefer for your family. I did use a, a full box because I wanted leftovers for lunch the next day. And I, if I was doing olives, this is where I would add the olives. I'm putting feta cheese in it now. But um, you could have added them before it went into the oven, as I was saying before. But this is where I like to add the olives if I have it. Because I like them a little bit more fresh tasting. I, I don't know. That's just my preference. I'm going to just go ahead and scoop this up. Look how beautiful that is. All of my family loves this recipe. Your kids will like it too, even picky eaters. And I don't remember what I was saying here. My husband's television was on, but I think I was giving it a thumbs up and telling you how amazing it is. So there you have it, friends. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. Go ahead and try this recipe and let me know what you think. Bye.